Hello and welcome to Trashy Speechless. Today's video is going to be another skin combo video and today's going to be Ravenpool. Let's get into this video and this video is going to be another skin combo video and today's going to be Ravenpool and this video was suggested by User Hacking Plays. Thank you very much for the video suggestion and they said can you do Ravenpool? Of course I can. The Ravenpool skin is a part of the Deadpool set in Shooting Chapter 2 Season 2 and can be bought in the Archer Shop for 1,500 V-Bucks or in the Deadpool Mashup Bundle for 2,000 V-Bucks which you get this skin and the Color Pool skin. I decided to make 10 combos. Let's get into the first one. The back bling is the Black Shield, part of the Fortnite set in Shooting Chapter 1 Season 2. Works very, ni very nicely for the black and the red. You can also use the red shield if you don't have this back bling since it's from the Chapter 1 Season 2's Battle Pass. And is the Black Knight's backbling. Pickaxe is the Muramasa Blade, part of the Zero War set in Shooting Chapter 3, Season 3. And this is Wolverine Zero's pickaxe from the crew pack, or they use a crew pack skin. And if you have that skin, you'll have this pickaxe. Works very nicely for the black and the red. You can also use it as a backbling for this combo. I'm going to using it for the pickaxe. The umbrella is the Mighty Marvel Umbrella, which is a Victory Royale umbrella from Chapter 2, Season 4. Using it for the black and red theme and the Marvel series theme as well I guess you could say. Contrail is Burn Down which is part of the Flame and Fortune set in Shooting Chapter 5 Season 1's Bat Pass and this is Valeria's Contrail from this season. I'm using the standard edit style which is Burn Down for the red. I really do highly rate this Contrail. The first weapon wrap is this one right here which is the Burn which is one of Valeria's weapon wraps part of the Flame and Fortune set in Shooting Chapter 5 Season 1. I'm using this one for the black and red theme and in total Valeria has four weapon wraps and I'm using this one as I mentioned for the black and the red. Let's move on to the second combo. This one I thought I'd use the banner shield and the banner I'm using is the Deadpool banner which is this one right here which is from chapter 2 season 2 basically if you played in that season and you got the challenge done for Deadpool you'd have the back bling or sorry the banner which is the Deadpool banner. You can either use it with the cape which is this one or the shield but I decided to use the shield. They're both part of the Banner Brigade set introduced in Chapter 1 Season X. The Banner Shield, but the Cape is Season 9 was when it's introduced. And the actual colour I'm using is this one right here. There's two colours. I'm using the top red, so top row, second one across. You can also use this one for like a darker red, but I find this one works nice. It's not the exact colour, as you can see here, but it does work very nicely. Pretty close anyway. Pickaxe for this combo is the Foundation's Plasma Spike. Part of a 7 set in Shooting Chapter 3 Season 1's Bat Pass. And this is Foundation's Pickaxe from that season. He was the secret skin. And I'm using the Foundation's Plasma Picks for the style for dual wield. You can also use single wield. You can just use the Plasma Spike instead. And the colour is Foundation's Flame for the black, for the red and the black outline. You can also just use the standard so it doesn't have a black outline. But it's totally up to you. But I decided to go with the Foundation's Flame colour. The weapon wrap for this combo is this one right here. Which is Deadpool's which is the Merc, part of the Deadpool set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 2, works very nicely from the red and black design. And obviously this is basically themed around Deadpool, this skin, the Ravenpool, and also Cuddlepool. Let's move on to combo number 3 now. I decided to use a holographic back bling. The one I'm using is my, personally my favourite, which is the Mark of the Slayer, part of the Ultra Nightmare set, introduced in Chapter 4, Season 1's Black Pass. It's Doom Slayer's back bling from that season. As I mentioned, using it for the red, but you can use every red one. You can use any of the Marvel series ones, the Star Wars series. You can even use Travis Scott's one, which is the Cactus Jack. You can also use the Piccolo's Demon Symbol, which also work nicely. Any red themed holographic back thing would work nicely. Pickaxe is the Power Pole, which is part of the Dragon Ball set in Season Chapter 3, Season 3. And this is Sun Goku's Pickaxe, works very, very nicely for the red theme. Breath Practice combo is this one right here. Which is from the Chapter 2, Season 2 Battle Pass, which is when the rap is blasted, part of the short fuse set. And it's TNT's Toon's Web Rap for that season, as you probably guessed it, using it for the red and the black. Let's move on to the next combo. For this one, I thought I'd use the Cuddle Pool's bow, which is part of the Deadpool set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 2. And the Cuddle Pool can either bought, be bought separately or bought in the bundle Deadpool Mashup bundle, which will come with obviously this skin and the Cuddle Pool. And this one works very nicely off your back bling. For this skin, it's a Raven's Pool cage. But this one does work very nicely because the red is pretty much the same red. Because obviously it's the same colour scheme and the same obviously pattern basically designed around the Deadpool skin. So this works very nicely. I thought I'd go for a Deadpool themed combo for the back bling and also the pickaxe, which is Deadpool's pickaxe, which is a meaty mallet part of the Deadpool set introduced in Chapter 2, Season 2. I'm not the biggest fan of these pickaxes, but I thought since, since I want to do a Deadpool theme 
combo or themed combo. I'd use his pickaxes. Shame he didn't get a different pickaxe, but either way, I guess it still works for a Deadpool theme. The way for out for this combo is this one right here, which is Doomed Echo, part of the Neo Underworld set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 6 is Battle Pass, I'm pretty sure, using it for the black and the red. I thought I'd switch up instead of having the fully red or, or almost a fully red one, I'd have a almost fully black with a little bit of red as well. I really do like this weapon out a lot. Let's move on to the fifth combo now. For this one, I thought I'd use Deadpool's Back Bling, which is a Deadpool's Katana, part of the Deadpool set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 2's Battle Pass, he was a secret skin from that season. Such a shame that Deadpool was tied to that battle pass. I know a lot of people, a lot of players want the Deadpool skin. Unless they've released another Deadpool like item shop version. Made for Deadpool 3. But I guess we'll have to see if the dude decides to do that. Pickaxe, it's a Leo's Katana's. I thought I'd use a Katana back bling, which was the Deadpool's. And I'd use the Katana's as the pickaxes, which is Leo's Katana. Part of the TMNT set. In shooting chapter 5 season 1. This works very nicely. Mainly for the black and the silver on the actual pickaxe. Or the Katana's, I guess you could say. The rep out for this combo is this one right here, which is a brand new one that came out yesterday or two, or two days ago now, which was for the newest FNCS skin, which is a Champion's Colors, part of the FNCS set, introduced in Chapter 5, Season 1, using it for the red and black. The female's a little bit white, and men using it for the red and the black. Let's move on to combo number six with Ravenpool skin. For this one, I thought I'd use the Birthstone Backplate, which is part of the Undercover Summer set, in shoes in Chapter 2, Season 7. The star I'm using is Garnet for the red, as you can see right here. Pickaxe is the instigator introduced in chapter one season three and this is from the twitch prime pack one so you've got twitch prime pack one all the way back in chapter one season three you'd have this pickaxe using it for the black and red theme but if you don't have this pickaxe use any pickaxe that's red and black themed would work nicely and the weapon for this combo is this one right here which is knighted part of the fortnite set introduced in chapter one season x's back pass using it for the red and black theme this does go very nicely with the red shield but since i haven't used the red shield in the combos yet i think i may have used it in maybe the last combo but if i haven't obviously this is very nicely just for the red and black either way very good weapon map in my opinion so obviously it's quite basic, but it does work nicely. Let's move on to the next combo, which is combo number seven. For this one, I thought I'd use a back bling from this season, which is a Legends mod kit, part of the Jonesy's Revenge set, introduced in Chapter 5, Season 1's Battle Pass. The edit style I'm using is just the standard, which is Legends mod kit, mainly using this for the red and black theme. But you can also use Legends Duotone mod kit style if you want, but I'm sticking with the standard. Pickaxe is a scratch mark shredder, which is part of the Storm Scavenger Links set. Introduced in Chapter Fortnite OG, Season Fortnite OG's Battle Pass. The star I'm using is just the standard, which is Scratch, scratch Mark Shredder, mainly for the red and a little bit of black on it as well. And this is the Renegade Lynx's pickaxe from the Fortnite OG Battle Pass. The weapon map for this combo is this one right here, which is a Star Wars series weapon map, which is Menacing Presence, part of the prequel trilogy set. Introduced in Chapter 4, Season 2. And this is Darth Maul's weapon map, using it for the red and black theme. Let's move on to the next combo, which is now combo number eight for this one i thought i'd use the sith trooper blaster as a back bling part of the new trilogy set introduced in chapter two season one this just goes very nicely for the black and red theme a very nice a very nice star wars series back bling in my opinion and i haven't used this in a while it does go nicely for the color scheme color scheme of the raven pool skin pickaxe it's a crucible blade Part of the Ultra Nightmare set, introduced in Chapter 4, Season 1's Battle Pass, and his Doomslayer's pickaxe from that season, using it for the black and red theme. The weapon app for this combo is this one right here, which is the Crimson Sun, part of the Luminary Explorer set, introduced in Chapter 4, Season 2. And this is a Chapter 4, Season 2 to level up quest pack, as you can see here. It's just a Crimson Sun item wrap unlocks upon completing 14 quests. All quests available until June 9th, 2023. So obviously, you've got the Quest done for June 9th, 2023. All like 20 at the tokens or the quests for the, the tokens. You'd have this weapon wrap works nicely for the red and black theme. It's also animated as well, which is always an added bonus. Let's move on to the next combo, which is combo number combo number nine. I thought I'd use a gaming legend series back bling. I decided to use the crewmate, which is part of the Among Us set. In season chapter three, season three. The star I'm using or the colour is red. You can also use black. But I find red works better, in my opinion. Pickaxe is the kunai, part of the Naruto set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 8. For this one, you can either use the kunai, which is for the red and black, or you can use the kunai black for the fully blacked out look. Either one would work nicely. Web wrap for this combo is this one right here, which is the ultra red, introduced in Chapter 1, Season 7. As you see, it's a very nice red and black design. It has like a glossy look to it, which is pretty cool. Let's move on to the final Ravenpool skin combos now. For this one, I thought I'd use a set of wings. I only have two set of wings that work nicely. So one I decided to go, go with is the ridged back, 
which is part of the Midnight Star set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 1, and this is Hayes' back bling. You can also use the Saints Legacy if you have that set of wings, would work nicely. Or if you have a set of wings that's black themed, would work nicely. And this was introduced in Chapter 2, Season 1. Standard is the default, or the star I'm using, I should say, is the default for the red and black. Pickaxe is the knockout pick, part of the Creed set, introduced in Chapter 4, Season 1. I'm using the emissives off for the black and red design. And this is Donna's Creed's pickaxe. And the final weapon wrap is this one right here, which is World Dominator, part of the first Shadow set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 8. I'm pretty sure this was a crew pack. Weapon wrap, if not, and you may have this, it may have been from the chapter 2 season 8 battle pass. I'm, I can never ever remember if it's crew pack or not. If it was a crew pack, you didn't own the crew pack, I don't have this weapon wrap. Use any weapon wrap that's red and black themed. But as you as you probably tell, using it for the red and black. So that's all the Ravenpool skin combos done. Thank you once again, use hack and plays for the video suggestion. I really did enjoy getting combos done for this skin. I have done combos for this and the colour pool together, like a mashup bundle combos, but I thought I'd make combos for this skin separately, because obviously you use Hack and Plays suggested it. So if you do have any other video suggestions, like see, could be, for example, cosmetic skin, back blend, pickaxe, glider, slash umbrella, contra, or weapon, or anything other Fortnite related, always feel free to let me know in the comments down below. I'm always down to give something new a go. But anyways, that was pretty decent.